guys, oh, welcome back to a, another video. So, um, as you can tell, I got my Ancestry DNA results back. So I'm so excited to see how this goes. <laughs> um, I'll do a quick breakdown of everything um, from pricing, timeline, so on and so forth, just to give you that information. And then I'll just give you the results that I got. So without further ado, let's get into it. Like, I'm so excited to see what this is because like my family background is just a little bit not all over the place but kind of all over the place so my predictions <laughs> of what I'm gonna guess is what's in like in my background is I want to say from my mother's side I have family from Barbados but the iffy part there is that I don't know what family came from Africa or like where in Africa they came from so it could be literally anywhere <laughs> i do have caribbean blood as i say but i um definitely don't know where in africa my family's from i'm gonna say because i live in nova scotia as well um that there has been some mix in there i'm gonna have some like probably english or scotland um in my blood <laughs> and on my dad's side um he what he says is he's french Polish and English and he thinks that there might be some Irish in there too So I know for sure that there's probably some Polish because my grandmother and then or like the Other side like my grandfather's side. Um, we say it was French and like Irish or something like that um, But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what these results are first off I'm gonna give you the breakdown before you open up the results um, about like how like everything came in I'm also going to have some timestamps linked below, so you can just press the area you want to get to. If you want to jump right to the results, go ahead, you know, jump on, jump on over. <laughs> Alright, so I ordered my Ancestry DNA kit on February 20th of this year. It shipped on February 22nd. I received my DNA kit on the 26th, so it shipped super fast. I got it in like less than a week, which is awesome. I paid for my Ancestry DNA kit in total with shipping and all because I think I chose the better shipping option if there is one. I came to $163.99 Canadian. So it's a little pricey but that's what I paid for it and I was just so curious to do it anyway because why not? I want to know like what the estimates of DNA that are in your blood and where from around the world you might be from. <laughs> I think I shipped it out if that was like the 26th I said. I get to ship it out until Monday. March 1st is when I shipped it out. And March 31st is when they received my DNA. And then you keep getting updates throughout the whole thing. So like on February 20th, they're now processing my DNA in the lab. And then February 22nd, they've extracted the DNA. It's in February, it's April. April 29th is when they gave me my results. Today is currently March 8th because I completely forgot about that I had this email and then I decided to go back through my emails. I was like, oh my God, how did I not jump right away to go look at this? What the hell? So I was in the total timeline. It took almost two months. It took 11 weeks in total for me to get the package, do my DNA thing, send it in and then to process it. So 11 weeks is the basic timeline from what it took for me and I was shipping again from within Canada and I believe it ships overseas. To pay to ship it back, it's already a marked box that they give you and I'll insert um, some little clips about that. The box, I open it super excited. <laughs> um, I read all the instructions and before you uh, like spit in the tube, they want you to activate your code. So I activated my code and um, did all the things they need to do online. It's like pretty much create an account. Uh, so they know like what to put the DNA into. Um, and then after that, I gracefully spit into the tube. <laughs> it was hard to get that much spit. Seriously, so hard. It's not even that much, but it's very difficult. <laughs> so after I did all that, I uh, then put the it has like this top part that you squeeze into it, like this blue liquid. 
Um, then you're meant to like do a little shake up and then place it into it. It's like a stabilizer. Then you place it into your box and like the little thing that they give you to put in the box and close it all up and then you just drop it in a mailbox and it'll be on its way. Other than that, it's a pretty basic and easy process. It was super fun. There's only one kit and it's the $129 kit. And I think I'm thinking of 23andMe, which I was going to do that one as well. Um, if you guys are interested in me doing the 23andMe, I'm considering it, but like, you know, if other people want to know about that too, like it, where I compare my results, like what does one say compared to the other one? You know? Log into my account. I can't screen record on this Chromebook that I have here. Um, so I am going to show you all the information on my phone, like on the screen as I'm scrolling through it. I try to be as accurate as what I'm talking about as possible. All right, so I am on this, <laughs> and um, I started before to try to add like a family tree, like my family tree of like who I know my grandfather and grandmothers are and stuff. Didn't really get too far, but yeah. All right, so my DNA story. stuff in me <laughs> I'll run the same area but different so number one I'm 19% England and Northwestern Europe Belgium Luxembourg the Netherlands England Wow. more English in me than I thought but if I was Belgium like that'd be pretty cool Nigeria yeah! No, I know! Wow! 17% <laughs> Nigerian. Wow. 16% Scottish. That's what I thought. Eastern Europe and Russia. Okay, yeah, this is the Poland that I thought was in my blood. <laughs> it gives like a map, like, like what's darker and what's lighter of like what you're more likely to be concentrated in. Germanic Europe. I have like Austria, Czech, or Germany in me. Thirty uh, percent. Wow. Benin and Togo. Oh, more African. Wow, eight percent. Three percent East European Jewish. Hungary, Latvia. Again, Poland. Romania, so like that makes sense there. Cameroon, Congo. Isn't this just like fascinating? I'm like shocked. 2% Baltics, 1% Norway, only 1% Ireland. I thought that was higher. Inga's timelines and shit. Like this stuff is so cool. Lesser Antilles, African Caribbean. Uh, like this, like just highlights like that the slave trade was 100% like cause of like the African population moving over to South America and to the Caribbean islands. Well, my great grandfather um, around World War II is when he came to Canada from Barbados. Um, and you know, that's how I'm here. <laughs> but I also have other family that came from Barbados over the years before him. Wow. Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island settlers. And then we have Scottish Lowland and Northeastern and Northern Ireland settler communities yeah the 16 percent scotch in me i'm gonna go find me a sam hugin <laughs> what the hell country is that new zealand ah so could i have family that moved to new zealand as well like very ancient relatives that could have moved to new zealand <laughs> and you can get into like family tree and shit i connected my dna to my family tree okay and then it goes by dna matches I'm not going to show people's names because privacy reasons. Um, <laughs> that 100% is my cousin. <laughs> this is actually just so interesting to see how everything is and like these people that are like related. That actually I know are related to me. Like would you guys have a guess that like that would have been my breakdown? Because <laughs> I wouldn't have. 
Now, this would have been even more interesting if I actually got my, like, triplet sisters to do it. Because I have, you know, two other sisters that have born some time as me to see what their results did. I know that there have been other twins and triplets to do this in the past. But it's very interesting to see, like, that that's what this is now. <laughs> so, again, if you guys want me to just try, like, 23 Me, you know, comment below. Subscribe. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Who would even guess that my breakdown would have looked like that? You know, comment that below. If you have any other questions about Ancestry DNA or my process and went through it that I did not answer today, uh, just let me know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.